Good morning again. Uh, my name's Eric Fitzgerald. I'm the CTE director for Rockingham County. Uh, my counterpart, Bethany Everidge. Bethany, raise your hand. I want to welcome you here along with all of our employers and, and all of our staff and um, folks who've helped put this on. Uh, I want to welcome you to the first annual, and I say annual because this is an event that we plan to do uh, every year, but welcome to the first annual Harrisburg Rockingham Career Connections event. Uh, before we begin, we have a couple folks that we would like just to say a couple words to you and who are super supportive of work-based learning in Rockingham County and the city of Harrisonburg. Uh, we have with us this morning Dr. Oscar Scheifel, Rockingham County Superintendent, and also Mr. Pat Littner, Harrisonburg City uh, Superintendent. And we'd like to offer you guys a chance to say a few words to our, to our group today. Superintendent, um, what I can say is I had nothing to do with organizing this event, so I was just asked to say a quick welcome. Welcome everyone here. What you see though is that in Rockingham County, and I know in Harrisonburg as well, uh, we take it seriously that uh, we want to have um, activities for students and programs for students that let them experience real world hands-on learning. And so in some places, sometimes that just becomes a box to check off on your resume, on your um, college application, or what, on your high school um, record. And here we take this seriously, and you can see that we try to do things the right way. Eric's done an amazing job with all the other folks that have helped with this. And if you look at this, this is attempt number one. Look around, right? This is what this looks like when we try it for the first time. So uh, nothing's done halfway. They set this up to do it well. And we're excited to give our students an opportunity to meet with employers. And so welcome to all the students, all the teachers that have their hands in this as well, as well as all the students from both of our school districts. So welcome and enjoy your event. And I'll hand it over to Pat. Thank you. I'd really like to echo what uh, Dr. Scheichel uh, said about uh, the importance of networking between uh, employers and potential employees. I'm excited for all the employers here to get to know our students, um, to understand what kinds of talents they bring, what kinds of backgrounds uh, they can provide to, uh, to your companies and industries. Students, this is an awesome opportunity for you, and I hope you'll make the most of it by asking all kinds of good questions um, about whatever you need to know about working at this particular place or another. There's all kinds of uh, portable information that you can take uh, from these discussions as you consider a career and consider applying for jobs. Just want to thank uh, Mr. Fitzgerald, Ms. Everidge for organizing. I want to thank uh, John and Seth from Cued In uh, for uh, some of their vision for this and for uh, putting it on the airwaves today. I know it'll be interesting uh, for those who are sitting at their computer uh, seeing what uh, you all are doing. So I hope you have a great, great uh, few hours here together and uh, learn a lot. Thank you all for being here. told the music was playing in the background. I apologize for that. Only a little bit. All right, I want you to know that today is a result of filling a need. And students, you got to really pay attention to that because there is a need in our community, in our state, across the Commonwealth, and across the nation for employment. And we're looking for good employees for lots and lots of different businesses and industries. Without you, without you, that's not going to happen. So you're here today for a very, very specific purpose, and that is to meet with business and industry employers to find out more about what's down the road, about what's available for each and every one of you once you finish high school or, in a lot of cases, maybe while you're even in high school. And you got to see, we need you. Now, I'm not just saying that lightly. We really need you because we need you to be our productive citizens of the future. 
Um, you know, I'm getting older and older, and I see that every day, and I'm thinking the next generation's on its way. But what we've got to do is we've got to make sure that we connect you with employment opportunities that are meaningful to help you be the workforce of the future. Now, today, each of you has signed up for three career cluster areas to investigate. And we've done our very, very best to get you teamed up with employers who are in your area of interest. But however, today, we want to encourage you, each and every student in here, to also think outside the box. You may have an idea of what you want to do already in mind, but open up a little bit and think about other opportunities. So when you talk to the employers, find out about all the different opportunities that they have. You just might be surprised. We want you to explore pathways uh, that you may have never thought about before, and that's all part of today's event. Now, the industry representatives are here to talk with you today. We really encourage you students to ask questions Discover as much about those employers as you can, because this is an awesome opportunity. Now, on the table, you're going to notice that there's some little gray cards. Those cards are your business cards. If you talk with an employer today that you really are interested in and you would like for them to have your contact information, put your name on one side of the card, flip it over on the back side, you can give them your email address and your phone number. I really encourage you to do that because that way you've already kind of made a connection with a potential employer. Now also you're going to find name tags on each one of the tables. Uh, they should be in the center. You're going to find a Sharpie pen. Make sure you put your name on that name tag and put it on. And that way when an employer is talking with you, they'll be able to know who you are by name and maybe they'll remember your name. That could be a really good thing. Now, for our first round, and that's going to happen in just a second, the way it's going to work is you are at a table now, and you may not be at the table you're supposed to be at, that's fine. But you're going to go out in just a minute through those doors, and you're going to grab a box lunch. And they're awesome box lunches, guys. I'm telling you, I've been looking forward to it all day. But there's awesome lunches. Uh, you're going to grab your lunch, but when you come back in, I want you to make sure that you go to the table that you're assigned to for the first round. So that first round will actually be a little bit longer because you're going to be eating lunch. And this is what we call in the working world a working lunch. Business folks, you know what I'm talking about. So uh, be sure to go to the table of your first assignment. Now, if you can't find your table, let us know. There's a bunch of us that are around the room. Just see me or one of the folks up here, and we'll help you find the table. Or if for some reason um, your card's incorrect, like a table number's off or something, just let us know, and we'll get you to the right place. Uh, no problem at all. Now, also, uh, several of you have asked for special dietary, uh, or you have dietary restrictions for lunch. When you go to the lunch box table, on the far end of the table, there's a whole stack of, of lunches that may be gluten-free, that may be vegetarian. Please feel free to pick up the lunch that best suits you, okay? Um, again, we're really glad that you're here, and we want you to really make the most out of the day. Now, there's one more thing that you're going to hear about before we release you for lunch. Um, you notice up on the screens, you're seeing a logo for Cued In, and it says Career Focused, Community Connected. Today, we are going to unveil the Cued In app for students. Businesses, most have already signed up, and the idea behind this is that that app will be a platform that you can go to on your cell phone or on your Chromebook, and you can find out what all of these employers plus more have available as far as mentorship opportunities, apprenticeship opportunities, cooperative education opportunities, uh, job shadowing opportunities, and every other type of work-based learning that you may be interested in. So with that in mind, I'm going to ask Seth Marsh, who is the CEO, the Chief Executive Officer of QBN, to talk to you a little bit about the platform. Mr. Marsh? exciting. I went to Spotswood and this is something that's just like blew my mind. I wouldn't have had this back in 2006, but this is awesome. Uh, sitting down and getting to talk with local employers and seeing these connections happening. 
So what is Cued In? How do you continue this relationship that you guys are building right now and, and talking and meeting each other? And so I kind of want to go over what Cued In is and how is it going to really facilitate these relationships and, and make this more efficient for all parties here. So at your table here, students, you can guys can grab a card. There's cards here that has a card for students on how to uh, download the app. You guys all have apps on your phone, so you know how to do it. But uh, download the app. There's also a sticker for you to put on whatever backpack, water bottle, whatever you want to. Take, please take that. Um, and so please download the app. If you have your phone, I'm going to actually ask you if you want to. Download the app now if you want to. Uh, so. Let me go over really what we're doing here with this, this platform. So we've created this triangle of a community connection here. The first point of the triangle that I'd like to go over is the student. So you guys as students, you're able to download your app, also log into your Chromebook. It's a web-based platform as well too. But you're able to search through local work-based learning opportunities in the community. You're also able to search through scholarships as well too, local scholarships. And you're also able to look through uh, the national database of the four-year, two-year, and technical schools that we've uploaded to this platform as well, too, and compare and kind of contrast the differences between the two. The other thing you're able to do is take a career inventory test, students. You're able to see uh, within that career cluster, as you guys are sitting at the tables right now, to see what opportunities are available in that career cluster in your community. So the second point that I want to go over is the employer. You guys as employers, like, uh, like Eric said, Mr. Fitzgerald said, you're able, you already posted your opportunities here. If you haven't, please go to our website because you guys have a web-based platform. Go to our website, create an account there, and you'll start the opportunity to post your, your uh, work-based learning opportunities. This could be anywhere from internships, apprenticeships, volunteer, uh, uh, volunteering, job shadowing, really anything uh, that's on that platform to help these students really explore careers in the community and what they're interested in. You're also able to post scholarships as well, too. You're, as an employer, you're able to really narrow down of who you want to uh, post these opportunities to. So you can give it to an individual school or school divisions or surrounding divisions as well, too. You might have uh, jobs in, in different counties, and so you're able to post that as well, too, in different counties as well. The other piece, too, that I'd like to go over is the top school organization you see there at the top of the triangle. We call those really the, kind of the key influencers. They make up really at your school or at your school division level, they make up your CTE directors, they make up uh, career coaches, counselors, whoever is really in charge and who the school division wants to be in charge of the platform at their level. It also uh, makes up to uh, parents and teachers are able to log into the platform. At the school division level, they're approving these opportunities that the employer posts. And they're also approving you guys going into the system and applying for these opportunities with these employers. There might be some opportunities that are already filled, and so making these connections is something great that the uh, CTE director and the, and the uh, division kind of knows where everybody's at and what the interests are from every party here. The teachers uh, have an app and web-based platform as well as the parents. All those key influencers are really able to search through these opportunities and send these opportunities to individual students or into our, our group of students, and so kind of create this push notification so that Really, as students, you guys are aware of what the opportunities are, and you might not see something that a teacher pushes to you, or a parent, or a counselor, or a career coach there. The benefits to all these connections that we've had here, the benefits for you guys as students is really you get to explore these careers firsthand uh, before you actually go into the field if you decide you want to go into that industry. So you're able to get a hands-on experience is our goal here. The benefit for employers, for you guys, is really it saves on time and finances for, for you guys, the employer group, because this really helps you um, get and tap into the next local pipeline that's coming up in this workforce here. And so you guys are able really to uh, send these opportunities to students who are interested in your career field. And then they go away, and then you get a, a potential employee that really is interested in your field, goes off and gets that degree, and then comes back. And that saves on training, too, because they might have already had hands-on experience in your industry. So, and then the, the benefit that we, that we add to the, uh, really the key influencers up there at the top is it's really taken the legwork of all those phone calls and emails. And so we want you guys, biz employers, to really keep on, if you have an idea and a, an employee comes up and says, hey, I'd like to do a mentorship or a shadowing or an opportunity, go ahead and post that on the platform. 
And so this is something where the, the CTE directors and, and school divisions don't have to email you all the time or call you all the time. It's really an efficient and, and uh, a better way of really kind of making those connections between the community here. We're really excited about what we're offering here and what we're working with you guys on. We're really excited about the potential for everybody to really work um, in a way that gets, this, gets you guys students really involved in what's happening in this community. You might not know that there might be your next position. You might be sitting at the table with the next position that you might have. Or you might not know there's a, a company that's, that you'd be interested in at the back in your backyard. So we're really excited about this opportunity. Looking forward to working with you guys. Please go to our website if you have any questions. It's q-in.com. And uh, thank you so much for allowing me to come here and speak. Thank you. Seth, we very much appreciate all that you've done. And John Barlow, also from QDN, is over there in the corner. John, we, we really appreciate everything you guys have done. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to move right on into lunch. And what I'm going to ask you to do is we'll start with the front tables here. And if you would, just uh, make a line, go out the door, uh, down in front of the registration desk. You'll see the box lunches there. And come back in the far door. And then again, if you'll sit at the table where you are assigned for your first round, that'll get us started off. Now, this first round uh, actually goes until 1230. So that'll give you a little time.